Hello there. Welcome back to my tutorial. First of all, this tutorial is made in Swift 4 on Xcode 9, but if you are still using Swift 3, then this code will work fine for you. Today we will learn how to use pen gesture. So this is what we will be creating. Like all this uh, effect is something I just did it for fun, but I'll uh, first uh, show you how to do the basic part. Then you can just uh, go around or stick with me to learn how to do this as well. So here I have already created a new Xcode project. And uh, so let's get started by, first of all, I will just add a view to our view controller. So just add a normal view. I think any view should work fine, but still I'll use a plain view and just give it some colors so that I can see it. And let's resize it to, let's say 150 by 150 and center it, everything in center and just right pan and you will see this up up thing the straight thing just drag and drop on the view you just created okay so you you will be seeing some uh, this blue icon over here so basically if uh, I'll just command Z it's not here so once you add it over here you will see it over here okay so let's connect our gesture so I don't need this code I never do so just select the gesture and press control and drag it over here and this will be action so uh, pen performed 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 okay I'm bad with English really bad so and type will be UI pen gesture and hit connect so we are done with the storyboard part that simple it's actually simple you you must be thinking like it will be really hard but it's not so it's like really easy so if sender is our like our view okay our gesture sending us so sender dot state dot state is equal equal to so begin or sender dot state equal equal to dot changed okay uh, we need translation so the amount of pan performed so translation equal to sender dot translation and in view will be self dot view self dot view so now we need uh, to change our x axis and y axis so let change x equal to sender dot view dot center dot x plus translation dot x so we are just adding the change occurred okay let change y okay why it's not color coding it okay just let's just fix it okay it's done and change y will be sender sender dot view dot center dot y and plus translation dot y and let's fix this one as well show me show me show me okay and we will just change it so self dot view dot center equal to cg point open brackets x and y just pass in change x pass in over here change y don't just like mess it just pass x change x for x and change y for y yeah that simple and just set the translation so sender dot translation uh, uh, in okay we need this sender dot set translation translation will be cg point dot zero and in view will be again self dot view so basically this is the basic part so let's run it and see it works or not it has to work uh, this is my previous app so here I have the application and okay 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 we are not supposed to uh, not supposed to pass in here self dot view let's say sender dot view and again sender dot view 
and let's try again self dot view is our like our main view so it was that's why it was like pulling it it's still doing that I don't know why sender dot view dot sender x cd point okay here again it will be sender dot view dot center let's run it again okay 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 even I am learning so okay this time it works so that's cool so that's how you use pan gesture so I'll just teach you some cool tricks so like if you wanted to go to opposite side just change uh, minus over here for translation like just subtract the translation and just see this it's cool after this we will just give it some like random colors see it works right it's fun so now let's generate random colors function random color and it will return a UI color open brackets let red equal to um, it will be CG float and just pass in arc for random with upper bound and upper bound will be 256 upper bound is 256 because it will go till 255 and in like RGB uh, each color code like e uh, like red green and blue go till like 255 because it's 8 bit if you don't know all that thing just google it just paste three times because we need that for green and blue as well green here blue and just divide all this by 255 I should have done it before but still 255 and it should work so return UI color open parentheses RGB here just pass in red oh okay I missed it red over here just passing green and over here blue and alpha will be 1.0 and here we will just set sender dot view we need view view dot background color equals to random color and run the application hope it works So as you see it's changing like the its own color so we can like change views uh, view color as well so like it gives a good effect so self dot view dot background color is equal to random color so I don't think this both colors will be same anytime so there will be no chance that your square is not seen there is a chance that one of them is like prevailing another one but it will be seen yeah it looks good right so that's how you use pan gesture if you have like any comments uh, any questions just post it in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos